Hello and welcome to another Dragon Storm Studios video. And today we're going to be drawing braids of hair, uh, something which can be considered very complicated until you see some tricks and tips that we're going to go over today. We're going to be drawing this braid of hair on Samantha Barks. Uh, whereas normally we've done some fan casting in this channel before, this is not a fan cast because Miss Barks actually plays Elsa in the London stage version of Frozen. So that is super exciting, an amazing actress and performer in her own right. We're going to begin this braid by thinking about a lightning bolt. So as the braid curves around the shoulder from the back of the head, I've, I've drawn a curved line. But then once the braid straightens out, I'm going to be thinking about that lightning bolt and I'm going to have back and forth. And you can kind of see where I, I planned out earlier some of my lines because I want to make sure everything kind of ends nicely here as the braid curves in. So you've got this lightning bolt effect and then we're just going to fill in with more curved lines where the lightning bolt kind of reaches the edge of the braid. So you can see we're going to have one here. We're going to have one here. And each of these bundles of hair kind of creates its own kind of triangular pie sort of shape. And we have to kind of work around our braid after that fact. So it's a neat trick, which I picked up years and years ago for drawing a braid. And then I'm going to have to kind of fill in these other areas here and there. We have to kind of adjust the braid as we go. And then we'll have it with a tie. And then the strands of hair here at the bottom as well. So Samantha Barks is an actress who I first was introduced to uh, in Les Miserables. And there was that amazing, incredible scene on my own in the rain. And it still to this day evokes tears from me it's just it's so beautiful so heartfelt it's so well acted it's a kind of song and lyrics where if it's not done right it could come across as being uh, a little bit not, I don't want to say silly but it, it doesn't it could easily not work so you need someone who can pull off uh, that kind of emotion and that this actress she nailed it and I, I still <laughs> get chills when I hear and see that, that scene. So what I'm doing in the braid now is wherever you get these kind of tops and bottoms where the braid begins and ends, I'm going to just be darkening it. And that's essentially the hair being pulled kind of together, I suppose. It's being, it's being brought into where the braid kind of fits like a puzzle piece almost. So you've got this part of the braid overlapping this part here. So the hair is being kind of drawn into a very small space and it's being pulled away from the light source coming towards it. So you're gonna have a lighter area here and darker areas where the braid is being pulled in. And that is really the, the, the trick, what makes it look good. Uh, if I was doing something more cartoony, I wouldn't need so much darkness, but because I am going for a more realistic look, we want to get that dark to light change in there. So for every part where you've got a corner, we're going to be using that darkening technique here. And then on the sides, we're going to darken just a little bit with the blending stomp, and that will help us create that 3D effect, and it'll look amazing when it's finished. So I'm just going to pull down this area here. I'm going to darken along the sides, and then it'll be lighter in the middle where the light's able to hit. That braid more directly. We'll cast a shadow here as well. I'm going to steal some of this graphite from the shadow to make this area here a bit darker. And it really does create this amazing effect, which of course you can tell people you spent hours and hours working on when in actual fact it only takes a couple minutes. If you don't have a blending stomp, and you can get these obviously at any kind of art store. If you don't have one of these, certainly your, your finger can work, but I just find the pointed tip of the blending stomp does miracles here for those hard to reach areas. It makes a really big difference. So I'm gonna spend a couple minutes working on that shading. We'll see how that looks in just one moment. All right, so I'm just adding a shadow next to the braid itself. So you can see how that, it's just adding a bit more depth again to the picture. 
and we have ourselves a braid there. And it's amazing what a difference the shading makes in particular. I was actually quite tempted to leave Miss Bark's hair dark because she does have dark hair in real life. But all of the pictures I saw of her from her performance as Elsa have her with uh, the lighter colored hair. So I kind of stuck with that just for consistency's sake. But what a difference that makes. Just adds a bit more realism to the picture. And I hope you found that very interesting. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give it a like, share to the people who might be like-minded, and subscribe if you enjoy the content of the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day.